This week, the Biden administration announced a new executive order that goes into effect today. It has already gone into effect today, June 5th, 2024. And that proclamation is associated with the southern border entrance. And because of the high level of illegal entries at the border, the Biden administration has entered this executive order saying that persons that cross the southern border and do not have authorization to do so or do not fit into the one exception, one of the few exceptions built into this proclamation, they are not allowed entry. So those people that still would be allowed entry are those that are entering legally, like U.S. citizens, permanent residents, those with visas, or those that are from countries with uh, the visa waiver program. Those are the type of people that are still allowed to cross the southern border, including certain persons that are identified as persons that are victims of trafficking, or unaccompanied children. There are a few other exceptions that fall to the discretion of CBP, but otherwise, if you cross the southern border and do not fit into one of these categories, you will no longer be allowed entry. So this specifically impacts those that are coming to the southern border seeking asylum. So what has traditionally happened in the past is that those individuals would cross the border and they would seek asylum. Um, those individuals would be allowed entry into the United States or would be detained pending an asylum hearing. Now with this executive order, that is no longer going to be possible. The best way to apply for asylum now from the southern border is to apply for, um, apply for an appointment through the CBP-1 app. That is still a process that would allow you to seek asylum entry into the United States. Now it's anticipated that this will be challenged in court and likely to be found a violation of asylum laws. However, as of today, it does go into effect.